So many of you know I recently won the United States Teachers Cup Senior Division out in Las Vegas. Uh, and the secret to that, uh, I'm going to talk about in this video, how did I do that? You know, not playing a lot of golf myself uh, and able to compete at a level where I shot four under uh, for two rounds on a very difficult golf course. And uh, really, it's the simplicity of my setup for impact golf swing. Whether your goal is to win a national championship or your club championship or just beat your buddies on the golf course or have some confidence that you can just go out and play with other people without worrying about embarrassing yourself. Uh, this method set up for impact is so much easier because honestly, if you don't have a lot of time to practice like I do, you still know that if I can just go out, get set up on my impact plane and then learn to move the club properly through impact, I'm gonna hit the ball uh, really, really well. And so my goal is to help you play your best golf possible and the best golf of your life. And that's what I'm doing at 59 years old. I'm playing the best golf of my life. Even though I was a one handicap at 17, uh, I'm playing better uh, today. I competed professionally when I was in my 20s and I'm 59, as I said now, and playing better golf than I ever have. And the way to do that is simply, uh, really, once we learn to set up on our impact plane, and that's where the wrists are in an uncocked position. From there, uh, what I had seen in my swing is that I was tending to go under the plane on the back swing, which tended to get me coming from inside to out through the ball. And it was only a little bit, but it's enough that I would miss some greens and fairways with the driver. And so what I did before this tournament is really, I felt like I was taking the club uh, to the outside. Really, when you looked on camera though, it was going back on one single plane. And it should be noted that when we're looking at the club moving on plane, it would be perfectly on plane to here, but then with the upper body rotation, the club ends up a little bit above the plane, so it's parallel uh, to the plane you set up on at the top, and then it comes down right on plane at, through to here, and then again, it might be a little bit off, but parallel at the top on the other side. This is very similar to what Bryson DeChambeau does, um, is trying to swing on a single plane back and through, and really setting up for impact with the wrists uncocked. The biggest secret for me uh, has been working on impact, learning to get the grip leading through impact. So I would make hundreds of swings at home just practicing this motion here. Uh, a lot of them I'd use with the lag shot uh, club and really just doing this really uh, made the biggest difference for me. Uh, doing that with the right, doing it with the left, uh, making sure the hands are leading. I also felt as I was doing this at the club, it feels like the club's going pretty straight back. I'm not letting the club go to the inside, which really would, of course, take me off plane. So going this way, this is actually on plane uh, where this is underneath. And once we start underneath, as I see a lot of people doing, um, almost every school I get, I have people that were trying to copy the swing of Mo Norman like I used to do. and. Uh, in almost every case, they're really struggling because they have a path that's way from inside, which necessitates here having to manipulate the club through impact to get the ball to the target. So once we learn here to make perfect pro-like impact, um, life is good and they play much, much better golf. So something like that, then I'll practice. And it's really uh, interesting that once I perfect impact, doing that, when I go out to play golf, I'll just make a practice swing or two doing that and then step up and hit great golf shots. Like that, dead perfect. So taking a look here, um, you can see how the club is set up uh, with the club on the same plane as my trailing elbow, so the right forearm. And if we draw a second line up through the middle of the shoulders, this will kind of give you an indication of what moving the club on a single plane is all about. And I think it's pretty simple to understand, but you can see how the club goes back here, right along and inside of those lines. You see right staying very close to the yellow line. And then as the body rotates around my spine, you can see as the left shoulder is outside of where it started, uh, that's why the club uh, would be above the yellow line slightly, but parallel to it. And so uh, this is a perfect position 
uh, right between the lines. And you see the club come right back down as the body rotates in the other direction. It pulls the club back very close to the yellow line, uh, which is the setup plane and the impact plane. And so the idea, if we can set up for impact and set up on that plane and then move the club uh, very close to on the same plane back and through, uh, it's a lot easier to consistently play golf. You'll see interesting here also, the next shots right here. You see the club going up the yellow line and it's telling you it's a neutral path. And you even see the club uh, here, the club face going right up the plane on the other side. Again, as the upper torso rotates, uh, you'll see then the club ends up uh, coming through right up here, still inside those, the plane and ball went dead straight. Uh, hands are finishing right on that plane then as well. For those that would like my help uh, in learning to play the best golf of your life, uh, check out my website, setupforimpact.com. I have all my schools listed there as well as my online learning program where I coach you through my simple, easy to follow drills, which you can do at home. Winter is a great time to get started. And I'll coach you through simple drills, learning how to move the club first in a, in a really short uh, swing, perfecting that first, and then moving on to longer swings. You can do the drills all winter and you will play the best golf you've ever played next year. Let me know if you have any questions, pop them in the box below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Uh, there's over 500 videos here on my channel. And on the website, you'll find my drills organized in a step-by-step -step manner. And membership also allows you to submit videos for my review. Any comments or questions, put them in the box below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.